The president is dead. I see. I'm sorry to hear that. Where do we go from here? Your mission was to rescue the president and eliminate the terrorist threat. However, given the recent turn of events, we will honor the president's last directive. You must put a stop to Arsenal gear once and for all. Do you actually think there's any truth to his story about this big shell facility being a front for Arsenal gear? I don't have the security clearance necessary to verify the facts. However, he was the president. I'm sure he knew what he was talking about. Aren't you forgetting that he was part of the terrorist plot? All the more reason why I believe his information is reliable. Huh? We're talking about a man who chose to die rather than risk a nuclear holocaust. Thanks to his sacrifice, the nuclear launch authority has shifted to the vice president, effectively eliminating the terrorist threat. Colonel, when you put it like that, it almost sounds like I should have assassinated the president to eliminate the threat. That was not my intention. I was trying to point out that there is certainly some credibility to the words of a man who chose death to protect the innocent. The Colonel has a point, Jack. What about the information he gave me on the Patriots? That's a new one on me. I'll see what I can find out. <sighs> Raiden, we're running out of time. Find Emma. She's supposed to be located on level B1, in the core of that building you're in, right? You've got to find her before Arsenal becomes fully operational. Hurry, Jack. It's up to you to make sure that the President didn't sacrifice his life in vain. Understood. Raiden, out. What's your status, Raiden? Snake, the President, he's been assassinated. What? There was nothing I could do. What about the nuclear strike code sequence? He died before his vital ID could be reconfirmed. Then the enemies lost their nuclear strike capability. But that Ocelot guy obviously killed the President on purpose. Why? It doesn't make any sense. They had to know that they couldn't launch the nuke if they killed the President. Maybe there's a way to launch without reconfirming the vital ID. Or maybe they found a more effective weapon within Arsenal gear. You knew about Arsenal gear? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me about it? You never asked. Am I correct in assuming you also know that the Big Shell's a front for the project? You mean, did I know that the Big Shell, a fully functional environmental cleanup facility, was designed to camouflage Arsenal gear? Yeah. I did. It's exactly what the President and Ames described. A massive cover story. The good news is that it hasn't really done much in terms of cleaning up the environment. So we won't have to worry about any toxic gas being released if we have to blow the house down. Right. And when did you find out about all of this? It took a while, but we uncovered the info around the time you took out that mad bomber. <sighs> There's no doubt that Arsenal gear is being built here. Then it was all set up two years ago, on that day. All of it. Two years ago? What really happened here? I took these photos two years ago. I know these pictures. They were on the news, on several websites. If I remember right, the reporters blamed you for sinking the tanker. That's right. Otacon. Me. We were used. We'd hoped that by going public with photos of the new Metal Gear, we could persuade the government. At least that was the plan at the time. I've gone through VR training of the tanker mission before. Yeah? Well, I doubt it accurately simulates the events of that mission. I'd infiltrated the dummy tanker to obtain proof that a Metal Gear was under development. Shortly after I made it aboard, an armed group led by Colonel Gerlukovich raided the ship and gained control. Olga and Ocelot were among the raiding party. Yeah, and him. Who are you talking about? A man that was supposed to be dead. Their target was also Metal Gear Ray. But Ocelot eliminated Colonel Gerlukovich and Marine Commander Scott Dolph, and he hijacked Ray. So he betrayed them? I don't know what kind of deal was going down. All I remember is what Ocelot said at the time. Something like, I'm taking it back. Ocelot then sank the tanker, along with the soldiers of the Marine Corps. How did you manage to get out? Otacon managed to have a small boat ready for me. That was the easy part. The tough part was not getting dragged down with a sinking tanker. A small miracle when you think about it. It turned out that the whole thing was a setup to lure us. Photos of Snake, taken by the Cypher, were released to the public. In turn, we became the world's most wanted environmental terrorists. It was definitely a move aimed at putting a stop to our anti-Metal Gear activities. But why did they choose Snake? 
Since the Shadow Moses incident, Snake became sort of a hero. I think the Patriots weren't too happy about that. You knew about the Patriots? Well, yes, to a certain degree. It seems like everyone knows about them except me. They didn't choose Snake to be a hero, so they decided to do a smear campaign. I think the Patriots wanted to make an example of him so everybody would think twice before opposing them. That's it! They set all this up just to nail you guys! No, there's more to it than that. The Marines Metal Gear Ray project, headed by Commander Dolph, was carried out in opposition to the Navy's Arsenal Gear project. To be more precise, the Patriots considered Metal Gear Ray to be a thorn in their side. Hence, they attacked the dummy tanker and stole Ray. They followed this up with a perfect plan. They immediately sent a fully loaded tanker to the same location and sank it. Then set up the facility to camouflage the development of Arsenal Gear. And we fell for it. Two more puppets in their show. Colonel Grilukovich? And his daughter, Olga? Both fell victim to Ocelot's plot. Was Solidus behind all this? He used Ocelot to get hold of Ray, huh? No, he was underground, keeping a low profile at the time. Then it must be the Patriots. If that's the case, what's Ocelot doing alongside Solidus? Hmm. Forget it. We're wasting time. We can figure this out later. The nuclear strike's been prevented, but Arsenal still has a massive payload of missiles to deal with. Right. If the opposition gets control of those missiles... Raiden, you've got to find Emma. Wait a second. Isn't Emma Emrick? My sister. What's she doing here? You got me. She's a computer whiz who specializes in neural AI and ultra-variable volume data analysis using complex logic. How she got involved in weapons development is beyond me. Hmm. Whatever her reasons, we need her in order to stop Arsenal. Raiden, find her. I'm on my way. Raiden, are you reading me? This is Otacon. What's your situation? Wet and miserable. This place is flooded. The seawater that's been pumped up is pouring into the building. I see. Listen, there's something I have to tell you about EE. E. Don't worry about her. I'll get her out. She's afraid of water. What? Yeah. When she was six years old, she almost drowned with my father in our swimming pool. She can't swim? Well, yes and no. We used to swim a lot together when we were kids. In fact, she swam like a fish until that day when she almost drowned. When the accident happened, I was in my room. I learned later that E.E. E. was calling me for help. She didn't doubt for a minute that I'd be there. You could see the pool from my room, but I didn't realize at the time that she needed my help. What were you doing? I... I was... So Emma survived the ordeal? Yeah. But my father didn't. So you blamed yourself and left your family? No. E.E. E. seems to believe that was the case. The fact is, I betrayed her. And you think she can't swim because of the traumatic experience? I haven't seen her since that day, but yes, I think so. I got a letter from Julie, her mother, after they moved back to England. In her letter, she mentioned that E.E. E. couldn't swim anymore. That she refused to even wear a bathing suit. Damn. If she still can't swim, we're in trouble. Level B1 in the core is pretty much flooded. Look, maybe you can help her overcome the trauma. You want me to help her get over it? Well, it's still gonna take some time to repair the cam off. Sorry, kid. Emma's rescue is up to you. <laughs> Thanks. An underwater mission. Well, this is a first. Look, I'll see what I can do. 
I suggest that you drum the map of the building into your head, because you won't have time to look at it when you try to bring Emma out. I'm counting on you, Raiden. I covered most of the core when I had to take out the C4s. If there's anything you need to ask me, call me on the codec. I'll do that.